Hey guys, this is Gray Mouse One. I wanted to do a video about the information that came out of the Game Developers Conference about the Sony PlayStation VR headset. What I'm getting at is the price tag, the $399.99 price tag for a peripheral. Are you freaking kidding me? You want to charge me $400 for a peripheral, a VR peripheral. Now, also that came out at this conference was that the only thing that's going to come with the headset are the HD cables and the cable that tethers it to the PlayStation 4. Also, we found out that it is recommended that you have the PlayStation Move controllers, which are about $30 a piece, and the PlayStation 4 camera, which is about $30 to $40 a piece as well. So, that's not to include the game that's going to come with it, which we all know in today's gaming industry that most games cost about $60 a piece. So, if you add all this up, that's about $1,000. So, you're telling me that if I don't have a PlayStation 4, and I just want to get on board this, I'm going to have to shell out $1,000 for me to enjoy this PlayStation 4 VR headset. Now, some good news did come out of it. Um, Sony did announce that 50 games will be released with the Sony VR headset. Okay, um, I've seen several of the tech demos of these games, and they do look very good. I mean, come on, it's virtual reality. However, I do think that Sony is making a mistake by pricing it this high. By pricing it this high, you are removing the average gamer. The average person cannot spend a thousand dollars on this whole setup. I mean, there are, I guess they're banking on that there are 35 million PlayStation 4s in households around America and around the world. So I understand that. I understand where they got that from. But there are still people, you are alienating the people that have not yet jumped on the PlayStation 4 bandwagon or have not yet owned the PlayStation 4 yet. So you're making it more difficult for them to join the PlayStation 4 ranks because they're going to have to spend up to $1,000 just to be able to enjoy the PlayStation VR headset. This is ridiculous. It really is. Maybe some people were waiting for the PlayStation VR headset so they could jump into the PlayStation 4 family. But no, you just shut them down. A thousand dollars? Are you freaking kidding me? A thousand dollars? Yeah, I know it's tax season right now, but god damn, a thousand dollars? You would think that the PlayStation would took a lesson from the Oculus Rift and from the HT, HTC Vive. You would think they would uh, take a lesson from that and learn that they shouldn't price their VR peripherals at that price. Now, maybe in the future, in the near future, that VR, as more, te as more technology has advanced and that it's easier to, to, uh, to make VR machines or whatnot, um, that the price would come down on virtual reality machines. And I understand um, they're trying to, to get the ball rolling on the VR. In my opinion, I still think it's just a gimmick. It really is. It's just a gimmick. But for those of us who have tried the Virtual Boy back in night, whenever it was, and, you know, we got headaches and, and all this other stuff, I'm just... I just hope that the new technology will be better. Nobody knows how long you know you could stay, you could wear the, the VR headset. Will it give people migraines? Will it give people vertigo? We don't know. We don't know. Because you know gamers are gonna play a game forever. For hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on end. So how is this going to impact? How is this going to impact the people that are playing the, the VR uh, headset? We don't know. 
Only time will tell. Now, like I said, um, as VR starts to become more and more mainstream, I think that the price of VR is going to come down as technology advances, as we get more and more advancements in the VR technology. Now, I'm not just pinging on, um, on Sony. I'm also absolutely disgusted with the Oculus Rift on how expensive it is. I'm also disgusted with the uh, HTC Vive. I mean, come on. Virtual reality is not that important to spend $1,000 on. Now, even Microsoft is trying to jump on that. The augmented reality with the HoloLens. I'm pretty sure, you know, that it's going to cost at least $400. It, it really is. But the thing is, though, I have yet to see any games for the HoloLens. Nothing. The only thing we saw was at E3 last year with Minecraft. That's it. So, I don't know what Microsoft is doing. But anyway, I'm getting, getting off on, uh, on different subjects. But the reality is $1,000 for somebody who's just trying to jump into the PlayStation 4 family is just way too much. It's just way too much. Unless you have a money tree in your backyard and you could pluck the money from that tree to get a PlayStation VR headset. Now, you may be asking, will I get that? Absolutely not. Not at that price tag. I don't own a PlayStation Move controller. I don't own the PlayStation 4 camera. So, I'm disqualified to get that. I'm not going to spend that much money so I can enjoy a, play, uh, a virtual reality machine. It's just not going to happen. This is just my personal opinion. I would love to read your comments down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. This has been Grey Mouse One, and I'll see you later.